And when you come back from space, this is a great question, how do you feel physically and mentally? Yeah, so when we go on these long missions like we have now, that's all that we have, these long duration missions. I was up there for about six months. So you come back, um, gravity is not your friend. Uh, getting back to the question that we were talking about earlier. Um, so it, it's really tough on your body. I mean, honestly, it's you're, you feel dizzy. You're kind of uh, just not with it for the first several days, but your body, your brain kind of figures it out. I could walk. I was uh, didn't have trouble walking. I felt like I was having trouble walking because I felt like I was stumbling around. Um, when I went and saw a video, I was walking kind of normally, but your brain just hasn't figured out where you are, this strange gravity environment that, <laughs> that you haven't been used to in a while. Um, so in general, it takes people, you know, a week or two to get completely back to feeling great and, and doing almost everything you can do. The real, we have lower back pain, almost every one of us when we come home. Um, if you haven't thought about it when we're in space, our spine expands because there's no gravity holding it down. So we actually grow about three or four centimeters each. So that's awesome <laughs> <It's> <laughs> for me. Yeah. Uh, but when you come home, the reverse happens and uh, it creates this uh, excruciating back pain for like two to three weeks. So once we get through that piece of it, then in general, we're all yeah. um, kind of healed yeah. and ready to go. And, and mentally, are you exhausted? Is it like, does it take loads of concentration to readjust to gravity or? Um, I would say mentally, I mean, you're, you're definitely tired because the landing day, um, if nothing else, is about a you know, 36 hour day uh, by the time you're getting in your space suit and, and coming home. And then um, in our case, we land in Kazakhstan right now and then kind of going through medical testing there and then getting kind of whisked away on a helicopter to an airport that has an airplane and all this just takes is a very long day. So uh, we did get to sleep some on the way home, um, coming back about 24 hours after we land on Earth, we land back in Houston. Um, to kind of be re reunited with our families. Um, we're very tired at that point, um, but then we're right into medical testing again um, for four or five hours before we get to really just crash and uh, get a good night's sleep.